Hello everyone and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. In the last video guys, I said I probably wasn't going to do any more of this game, but uh, you guys have just been begging me for more, so I've came up with an idea. Today we are going to find out who is the best fighter in this game. Oh, hang on, that's the wrong thing, we need to go to the sandbox for this. So what we're going to do is we are going to try out each of the people, not including the peasant, because the peasant is going to be the enemy today. We're going to do boxer, farmer, barbarian, poacher, footman, spearman, shield, and archer okay the other ones are a specialty unit where it's uh you know not about the person but about the actual thing they're controlling so those are the like the foot units i suppose we're gonna try each of them out i'm gonna set up a little grid they're gonna have uh peasants running at them and we're gonna see who can hold their own the best against the peasants and whoever does the best job in my little challenge is gonna be named the ultimate fighter in this game so first of all guys, we have to choose our formation for this. I am going to put peasants evenly spaced across this thing. I think we're going to start with five. I think that's a good number. You know, it gives people a chance to actually kill each peasant before the, uh, you know, the other one gets to them. We might increase it later as, uh, as time goes on, but uh, let's start with that. I do not know how to count this. I'm going to try and space them out evenly. Then we're going to start with the boxer, and each person is going to have a chance to face these five peasants, and we'll see how they do. All right, so the boxer is up, guys. Let's see how he does. I have no idea how this challenge is gonna go. I just thought I would give it a try. Okay, so they're, they're pretty spaced out. He should have a, oh, oh, damn, look at this guy. She's kicking ass. Keep going, buddy, you can, oh, he got knocked out. We're gonna do best two out of three. That's another thing that I've decided, okay? So if he gets, uh, if he wins this one, he gets to go on, and if he loses this one, he's out. There's person number one. Freaking punched him so hard, man. It's amazing. Come on, dude. Yes. Oh, I'm rooting for him, man. I'm, I'm rooting for him, but he just could not do it. Blue victory. What the hell? You you punched him and somehow you ended up dead. Fail. Okay, so now we're going to try a farmer instead, guys. Farmer's got a pitchfork. That's a pretty good weapon. It might be better at taking out the peasants. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Just stick that pitchfork in him. Mm. Oh, there's one. Okay, okay. And there's two. There's three, there's four, and there's five. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's try it again. Oh, seriously? All you had to do was poke him, man. What the hell is wrong with you? Okay, you got the first one. I didn't think he was gonna be able to do it, and he's dead. All right, so that's uh, that's the second one. So he's won one and he's lost one, guys. He still has a chance to advance to the next round. I don't know what the next round is gonna be yet. It really depends on who actually gets there. I, I don't know how this is gonna go, man. We're gonna have to add more peasants, obviously. I think that's probably gonna be the main idea here. Come on, get him! Get him! There's one. Okay. He's slapping you, man. He's, he's, he's slapping you, be careful. Two guys are slapping you. You're not gonna be able to do it. Not gonna be able to do it. Oh, he lost the weapon! No, he's simply a peasant now. He doesn't seem to do as good of a job, though, as the peasants. But he won, man. Holy crap. Okay. Good job, buddy. He's just walking away with the weirdest looking walk ever, man. <laughs> okay, so what we got now, guys, is Farmer is advancing to the next round. All right. I wrote it on my whiteboard, guys. Farmer is moving on to round two. Now we are going with Barbarian. Those are the ones with the clubs. Welcome to the club. I like that. You see the way he just lifts it up over his head? He's gonna kick ass. Oh man, look at that! Holy shit! He's just touching that thing off their heads and they're just falling down and dying, man. Holy crap. This guy's a boss! Here you go! He did it! I, I actually am really confident in this guy's abilities. That uh, is such a, such a good strategy. He just runs up with it right above the head. Boom! Boom! Boom. Okay, so we just gotta see it one more time. You just gotta do this one more time, buddy. But don't worry, you don't got no strikes yet, and you get that, uh, you get one. You only get one strike, and after that, if you get another one, you're out. Come on. Two. See, he's like pushing them away. They can't even get to him. Shit. Oh, oh, two. Oh, crap. And they, they started making out. Great, that's that's what I do after I'm done, you know, fighting with all my fellow, fellow peasants. Oh. He's not gonna do it, guys. He's not gonna do it. He's getting pummeled. Blue victory. He was he was doing it, man. And he was doing it good. But no. Alright, well, up next is the poacher. That's the guy with the arrows. I don't know if that's gonna be good or not. Depends on how fast you can shoot him. They are spaced out pretty well, but I don't know if he's gonna be able to do it. Come on, buddy. I hear that the poachers are actually better than the archers, so... I don't know about that, but we'll find out. Okay, this is what this uh, challenge is about. Oh, no! You couldn't even shoot one guy! Ooh, he shot one guy. The other guy's dead, too. All right. 
Come on. Oh, that's two, three dudes. This is actually pretty good, guys. This works well in his favor, but will he be able to handle guys in a different, you know, sort of uh, arrangement? We'll see. I don't know if this is fair to let all these guys go against each other, but, but we're doing it. All right, because I've chosen the rules and they have entered the competition. That is one win for the poacher. Can he do it again? He's got one guy taken down already, guys. That's two guys. That guy was that guy just got the sickest headshot. Okay, good. Come on. You can do it, man. I'm rooting for everybody, guys. I'm not playing favorites here. I'm hoping that everybody gets through to the next round. Jesus Christ. Okay, so this is this is good. This is really good. This is impressive. Red victory. That's the guy, the first guy with two in a row. Good job, buddy. So Footman is a little bit different, guys, because of the fact that the Footman takes up four spots and not just one. So I've clicked in the same spot as the other guys, and it's chosen to put him like that. So that's what we're going to go with here. Let's see what the Footman can do. Now, the Footman is an expensive unit. He's uh, he's getting up there when it comes to his uh, abilities, but can he do it? Or will he be defeated? Oh, man. This guy was kicking ass, but look at that. Now he's getting the shit slapped out of him by a peasant. Oh, man. You better be careful. Okay, because you might get your... Oh, okay. Good job. Good job. It seemed like you were struggling a little bit there, man. So, um, yeah, there's definitely a room for error there with him. He's not perfect. None of the units in this game are perfect. You have seen that from the other two videos. They just run at each other with their arms flailing. Sometimes they win, sometimes they lose. But this guy, this guy knows how it's done. He's like the club guy, except it's a sword instead of a club. But look, there's another peasant coming over here, and he wants you dead. It's not happening, is it? Oh, oh, he missed swung, but he did it. All right, so he's got a pretty good job. The uh, the swordsman did pretty good. Wait, he's called a, a footman. Okay, the footman did pretty good. Let's move on to the spearman. Now, I think the spearman's going to have a pretty good time at this, guys, because of the fact that the spearman has a pretty long thing that he can use. Look at that. He just poked him in the dick, man. Oh, but he got his spear stuck. That's not good. He keeps going for the dick. Oh, and this guy's riding it, man. Holy crap. What is this? He skewered him, sort of. Oh no, oh man, that spear is a blessing and a curse. He died. He did end up dead, the other guy ended up dead. And red victory, holy crap man, you really did it. I was not expecting that to happen, but it happened. I am thoroughly impressed by that showmanship there, buddy. Wow, will he go for the same nut shot as before? Same nut shot and he's riding the pole, guys. He's riding the pole. Oh man, this is not good. This is not good at all. He's got several guys now, right up on him. One guy is right on his pole. Can he do it? Oh my god, what is happening now? Shit, he did it! He got through it! Nothing stops this guy! And he went for the dick shot again, and it might be the death of him. It might be the death of him. Come on, buddy. Come on. Eventually, this guy is gonna get so much friction on his genitals that he is going to die. Nope. Blue victory. So that's one and one. He's still got one more chance, guys. Spearman. 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 Look at that, man. He keeps on letting those guys ride his pole. If you let too many guys ride your pole, people are going to get the wrong idea about you, man. You might not be recruited for battle. It was good. Like, you, you were doing a great job. You seem to be pretty good at not dying from the slaps of the peasants, but it's all over, man. You didn't make it. Holy crap. It was going so well, and he just, he lost it, okay? He had a hot streak, and that streak ran cold. Let's move on to the shield guy. Now, shield guy is, uh, he's quite the guy because he's got a shield. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I got to say, man. Seriously, those shields are good because they block the peasant attacks. But the problem here is that can he get through all the peasants? Is he going to knock some to the side and then end up with them coming from the back and, you know, hitting it from the back? You got them peasants hitting you from the back. That's not going to be good. Let's see what he does. Here's the shield. So the shield's, uh, the shield strategy is obviously to just, you know, push people out of the way. He's going to ram them. Boom. Holy shit, man. But he can only do it so many times. And look at this. They've already got him from the back. You thought the shield guy might have done good because he's got a shield? I don't know, man. I don't know. He, it's blue victory. That's 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 one death, buddy. You're on you're on death row at the moment. You got to win the next two. I don't think he's going to do it, guys. I really don't. But we do have a farmer and a poacher. So far, those guys are doing good. Here we go with shield guy again. The first hit is always the best, guys, because it's just, you know, it's, uh, it's the first one. So he has a lot of time to kind of wind it up. And now look, things are getting a little bit out of control. I don't know if you're going to be able to do this, man. Seriously. Oh, they got him. Blue victory. Turns out the shield is not the ultimate fighter. Now we got archer, guys. Now, um, we won with the poacher. That did pretty well. So, uh, can the archer do better or will the archer do worse? We're going to find out. I'm not even sure what the difference is, to be honest. So, 
yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting matchup here. Well, he's got one. Let's see if he can get number two. Oh, headshot! Okay, come on. Oh, bad shot on that one, buddy. Bad shot on. Oh man! One slap and you're dead. Oh, get up, you pussy! Okay, well he's got another try. He's got he's got uh, one more try. If he doesn't win, he's out. And that will be it, guys. And it'll just be the farmer and the poacher. Who would have thought the farmer and the poacher would be the ones moving on to the finals? Damn. And he missed them all, guys. And he's dead. You are just terrible. You make me ashamed to be your guy that, that tells you what to do. Yeah. Okay, so, farmer and poacher, here we go. We're gonna do this again. Wait, 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 wait. I made a huge mistake. As you guys may have noticed, I am a complete idiot and I forgot to write down that the footman was one of the people who won the challenge. So it's not just two finalists, it's three. So I did record the rest of the video, guys, but I'm scrapping it and I'm re-recording it now because obviously it's not fair if one of the guys who won the first challenge doesn't get to go on to the finals. So we've got the poacher, the footman, and the uh, farmer now and we're gonna put them up against some more peasants and this time guys I'm gonna put the peasants up and down on this grid here rather than left and right So they're not gonna come at them one at a time But they're all gonna come at them from like, you know front and side and further to the side So it's gonna be a very different experience and we're gonna see how each guy handles it So now guys, it's a lot easier to get ganged up on because of the fact that you know the guys are at the side, but he's got one and He's not gonna make it. He is not gonna make it. You can't do it man. Oh, but he did it! All right, well, you definitely impressed me this time. Let's see if you can do it again. That was uh, that was a hard thing to do, but he powered through it, man. Not, he's not gonna do it this time. Not even close. Holy crap, you just got ganged up on by five dudes at once. Here we go, this is your last chance. You better hope that if you don't make this, nobody else does either. Couldn't even get the first guy, man. Holy crap, you better, you better hope your backup skills are on, on point here, buddy. Cause you gotta stab him one at a time now. He's doing it. He's weeding him out. Oh, he actually got it. All right, so that's two out of three guys. This guy's proven to be a pretty good warrior. All right, so now we got the farmer done. Let's move on to the poacher and then the footman. I'm not really sure the fairest way to do it guys when you're looking at someone who has a ranged weapon versus a, uh, you know, a melee weapon. But, uh, you know, I got no other way to do this. So I'm just putting him in with the rest of the dudes. He can shoot them. It's not a big deal. He's just kind of choosing not to, you know what I mean? And you gotta be, you gotta be good all around. You can't just be good in one area when you're, when you're a fighter, you know? You gotta be able to do it all. This guy, he held his own pretty good. I thought he was maybe gonna get through it. He picked off three of the dudes. Not bad when you're just one guy with a bow and arrow. Here comes round two. He might still do it, guys. Don't lose hope. He's missing all his shots, man. This is not good. You gotta focus, buddy. You can't be, you can't be so erratic with the shooting there. He like, he was shooting at the guy in front and he was like, you know what, I'm just gonna turn to that guy instead and have a shot over that way. And he totally missed and it was embarrassing. There goes the poacher, guys. We're looking at uh, the farmer being the only person at the moment, but the footman is a really good warrior. We saw that, he did a really good job. And somehow I forgot to write it down and thought it was only two dudes. You think maybe my memory would kick in at that point, but no. I kind of feel like the footman is gonna win it all, guys. I just, I like the fit configuration he's got going on here. Sword up above the head, just like the uh, guy with the club, who did really well. Except he has an even more powerful weapon. Look at this, oh, blue victory. Come on, man. You gotta do better than that. I expected great things from you. I had to re-record this video just to include you. Come on. You couldn't even kill the first guy on the first shot. Really? Come on, back it up, back it up, dude. Ooh, okay. Well then, you couldn't do it. So that means, guys, that according to my challenge, the ultimate fighter in this game is the farmer. I wasn't really expecting that, to be honest. I thought the footman was gonna have a pretty good chance at it, but he just, he couldn't pull it off. Spearman was doing good as well, but he just kept on having people ride his pole. You can't let people ride your pole when you're in battle, man. It's just, it, it's not the right thing to do. So yeah, the farmer won it all, guys. Congratulations to him. He did an excellent job. So if you guys have any suggestions for things you'd like to see in the sandbox mode, anything you'd like me to try, just leave it down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.